Hi guys. Okay, we're doing something a little different today. I had too much stuff coming in from the spirit, so I am not going to do the tarot cards this week. But you guys, I hope you're with me. I hope you're alert and aware because we are learning the principles of the fifth dimensional world. You guys, there are many people who are stepping into the 5D and what we are doing right now is establishing the pillars that will hold the foundation of the 5D reality. And I just, I hope that nobody on planet earth would miss these videos because these are such deep concepts and I don't know if you're getting this stuff anywhere else. If you are, please let me know below. Otherwise, please invite like your friends who are interested to watch with us because this information it's so, it's such a treasure to me. So I hope it is for you too. Let's get started. We have a lot to cover. I've got tons of notes, so I'm going to be referring to those. You guys are going to absolutely be astonished at, at the 5D realm and how things work here. Okay. Okay. So guys, At the culmination of the 3D slash 4D existence, what we're just coming out of right now, we kind of look back at our previous history. We're looking at our story. We're looking at everything we've accomplished and every character, every role we have played. Okay? We, however... I always feel, if we can look back at that life, we always felt that we never reached the pinnacle, the culmination. We're always waiting for the reward at the end, the rest at the end, the um, conclusion. We're always waiting for the conclusion, like what, what was the purpose and when can I rest from all of this and get my reward and just relax in peace? Okay, stop the toil and, and all of that stuff, the labor and all of it, okay? The reason, you guys, the reason we think in that manner is because we're thinking linearly, okay? Uh, time began here. This is how I started. This is what I've done. This is what I've accomplished. I'm looking for the end goal. Okay, So most recently, we started to think about time circularly, okay, which is better. It's better than linear. We've started to look at it linearly. Unfortunately, when we look at time as a cycle, which it appears to be, we can look at a clock and see that time could be cyclical. We can look at the seasons and see that time could be cyclical. We can look at the earth traveling around the sun and say a year is cyclical, okay? That is not the correct way to look at time because it's still, in your mind, it still has a beginning and an end. There's the top of the circle all the way around and this would be your end goal right back at the top. It's still cyclical thinking. Okay. So the words I was getting, guys, I was getting that we're starting to tally our accomplishments from our past life. We're tallying. tallying. We're keeping score. We're keeping record. We're keeping count of the accomplishments. And we're taking an account of our life. Okay. And we want to be not in debt any longer. We want to have credit. Okay. So we want to have more rather than being in debt. We want to have abundance. And so we're counting. The word tally is the key to this study. So the word tally is the word In other languages, it's T-A-L-E, okay? And this makes sense because if you're counting something, accounting for something, reckoning something, it's the same as telling a tale. When you tell a tale, you're recounting a story 
To recount a story is to tell a tale. Unfortunately, we've been stuck in the cycle of telling that damn story dozens of times in our life. Up and down, up and down go the cycles of life, okay? And we sit and we go around and around and around in the same, in the same story. Never, like I said, never reaching the happily ever after type thing, okay? Okay, the root word of the word tally, T-A-L-L-Y, is the word talus. It's a Latin word. And if you think of a bird's talon, it's the same word. And now you can think of your heel because your heel is your talon. So look at the etymology of the word tally, okay? You're counting and reckoning your story. You're also trying to weigh your stuff in the marketplace. Like, have I been fertile and abundant? Where is my reward? I'm looking for the treasure at the end of the rainbow, the pot of gold, okay? Keeping score, stuff like that. Okay, so we've got a tally stick is a stick of wood with notches cut to indicate the amount of payment or debt. Um, This is how they used to, like tax collectors used to keep, Matthew would be holding a tally stick, okay? So you're counting, you're reckoning. And right here we have, look, it's a rod. Of course it is, because that's what we've been talking about. So it's a rod. I'm going to try to make this bigger for you. Okay, so it's a rod, and what else do we have here? A cutting. Okay, guys, a cutting of a plant. Think of this. A cutting of a plant is something that you're going to take to propagate the growth of another plant. It's a scion. It's that seed that you're going to pull right out of the original plant, plant it in the ground, and it's going to grow another tree, another plant, a cutting, okay? Literally, a heel piece. Your tally, your talon is your heel. If you were a bird, your talon would be your heel piece, okay? Talus, heal. Okay, guys, the the Spirit gave me a word, and I don't know why it takes me on this journey, because because it's fun. This is, guys, I can't tell you how much I see that this is supposed to be amusement and entertainment in the most serious way, because this is life. This is what life was meant to be. Remember we saw the amusement park, I think, recently in the videos? And to us, it's amusement. And we, with the utmost respect to everybody who's not having fun these days, life was meant to be fun, okay? These puzzles that we're putting together are meant to be for our entertainment, okay? This is how we're supposed to go through life, okay? So... What we have is the heel. I was given the word hiccup. The root word of the word hiccup is hocket. The word hocket, the root word was the word hitch. The word hitch. Here we go. Why didn't it just give me the word hitch? I don't know. Because the spirit likes to have fun. The word hitch. A hobbled gait to walk with a limp. Here we go. Now we're speaking our language. You and I studied the limp, Adam being lame all last year. Okay, so when Adam's rib was taken out to make Eve, under the word rib, in the etymology, we found out that Adam was made limp and lame. 
You guys, your heel is being cut, and I'm going to tell you why, but you're cutting your own heel off. Actually, the Bible describes this. You shall bruise his head, and he shall bruise your heel, something like that. It's a couple places in the Bible, and it's talking about the serpent. Okay? So, bruises heel. You're cutting off a piece of the heel and now you have a limping gait. You guys, if you are always to heal means to lean to one side, literally to heal means to lean like the leaning tower of Pisa is healing. Okay. When you are constantly leaning to one side, what happens? You walk in circles one leg shorter than the other. You are constantly leaning. You're going to be wandering in circles. Wandering in circles. We can't finish the story. We keep going round and round and round and round. Of course, then, our concept of time is mirroring that. We think we're going around and around and around and around. Okay, we can never get to the final goal. Okay, what we now have a, a group of stars working with us. It's our interdimensional selves. No, no, I don't want to look at it that way, and you're going to find out why. It's just multiple us's, multiple eyes, multiple guardian angels. Um, we've called them a lot of things angels, stars armies. You've got your own army at your disposal. Okay. And up until this point, they have been wandering around in the fricking desert. You guys, this is the story that we relate to. You've been going in circles in that desert, going in circles in the desert. Okay. Okay. So there is a symbol that represents this exact Thing. You, or the serpent, eating its own tail, its own heel, the, the conclusion, the last part of your body is your tail, T-A-I-L. That's how all these words are related. You've been eating your own tail. It's the Ouroboros. You've been eating your own tail. Meaning you can never get the conclusion. You're eating the end of the story. You're eating the end of the story. You never get that fairy tale ending. Okay. You're clipping off your own heel. And so you're going in circles like the Ouroboros. I don't know how, but this is so amazing to me. Okay. So I go to look up Ouroboros. I I promise you, and you guys know this, that I had no idea. Look at this. The snake eating his own tail. Alchemists, notably, alchemists, because that's what we are now, notably use the Ouroboros to represent the element mercury. Are you kidding me? By the way, my friend Bent, this is why Mercury leaves a gift at your feet. We talked about this last year. Mercury Mercury retrograde, he was dropping gifts at our feet. So we're going to talk about that too, okay? Okay, look at this. They believed the element Mercury permeated and united all matter. I don't know if it's, I, it, it's not clear here. If they thought the Ouroboros permeated and united all matter, or if the element mercury permeated and united all matter. Okay, whatever it is, we've got it. Whatever it is, we've got it. It's all we've been talking about. Okay, so I went to look up the original drawing. Can you see this right above my head? You guys should be right above my head. Here's the serpent snake 
or lizard, it's come out in many different forms over the centuries, eating his own tail. The conclusion of the story, you're never getting the ultimate reward. Okay. Look at what this says. Um, in alchemy, the chrysopia, the chrysopia of Cleopatra, see it here? This is where this initial idea came forth. Okay. Chrysopia. Gold making, it means gold making. How funny, because if you take chryso here, it's very close to the word Christ in Greek. Okay. Gold making refers to the artificial production of gold, most commonly by the alleged transmutation of base metals, such as lead. A related term, argyropia, this beginning of this word I recognize as the word silver, A-G, as the word silver, okay? Silver making, referring to the artificial production of silver by transmuting copper. We've done that. Moses said, look upon the copper serpent and be healed. How appropriate is that? And so we've transmuted the, the um, copper serpent into the quick silver. Quick silver is mercury. Quick silver is mercury. Okay? Blew me away. I had no idea that mercury was involved with alchemy and the Ouroboros. Okay? So, what you've been doing is you've always been dropping your tail like a lizard. You've always been dropping your tail at the end. You're snipping it off and cutting it off, and you can't get to the end result. The fulfillment, the conclusion, the reward. Okay. Now, your heel was meant you guys, listen to this. All those droppings were meant to take root, but you were wandering in the desert. There was nothing fertile there. You had no water. You had no soil. And so you, those cuttings, those scions, those droppings could not take root and sprout until now. So along your path the entire time, you have had um, droppings. I can't tell you how literal this is, you guys, because like we were talking about, the, I don't think we talked about this actually since last year. But the serpent's mouth has fangs. You are going through the teeth. Do you remember when else we went through the teeth? It's on the weaver's loom. So that you start out as this stalk of fibrous, rough, hard, husk, pebbles, um, pellets, seeds in all of your linen and flax stalks in order to eventually make linen out of flax, fine linen out of flax, the linen first has to go through the teeth. It's pulling out seeds, fertilizer out of the tail, you guys. It's pulling for seeds, fertilizer out of the tail and dropping them. That's what this cyclical motion does. Okay. This is very much about the weave and the warp of time. We're talking about the weave and the warp, the warp and the weave, the warp and the woof of time. Okay. So previously, though you were, you were definitely being aged like a fine wine. You were, you had to take out the dross, the hard stuff, 
the husk and all of that. And then when the spirit does that to you, these teeth, this would be your spiritual in evolution, okay? Um, the birds who represent the spirit, they drop pellets. Literally, this is what happens when a bird of prey drops pellets. He's dropping seeds and hairballs like cats, feathers and all kinds of stuff coming out. And that's going to fertilize the ground. Well, like I said, we've been in the desert. And we, those, your heel clippings have not been fertile. Okay. In fact, they've been poisonous. The tail is poisonous. It's, it's been bitter. And up until now, we have not been able to regurgitate it and make it sweet. Like the bee. Okay. It's a poisoned tail because it's a scorpion tail, lizard tail, all kinds of things. You guys, I could go on forever. And I see all these stories in my head. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now Okay. Now everything is changing. First of all, you've stepped into a garden. And now these seeds are sprouting. Okay. I want you to start thinking about time, not as linear, not as cyclical, but this is what I want you to picture. Okay. You are on one path. All of your armies and all of your angels, which are your other eyes, your other yous, are out there on paths. They are living concurrent lives. Concurrent. You know that there is no future and you know that there is no past. Okay? What I once was told is that we came back, Galactic Mother told me this recently, came back from the future to plant seeds in our past. She said, just as your future can change, so can your past. It's like they were changing history. The future us was changing the past us. Guys, that's a false concept. I couldn't understand it. So that's how she described it to me. Okay. We were leaving a trail. So if you think of mother earth, she's got all these fossils and she's got all of these, um, clues to tell us about our past history. That's not how it works because there is no past. There is no future. It's just the present moment. So how does it actually work? You have many selves out there walking what the spirit told me was choose your own adventure, walking many concurrent paths at the same time. Okay. Now those armies of angels, you guardians. Okay. Okay. They are, you are beginning to pick up their signals. How are you doing this? It's because you're starting to understand it. You're becoming aware of it. That's all. You're becoming aware of it. And they, like you, are a magnetic pole. They're an electric pole. You know that we are radio signals. So what you dial into is what you receive in your receiver right? You see evil, you're going to get evil back. You see beauty, you're going to get beauty back. Okay. So you are this, right? Sending out all this electricity, all of these lightning bolts. And so are they. Those lightning bolts, thoughts, electricity, your brain waves, your heart waves send ripples. They send ripples, you guys. All of your ripples are intersecting. All of the ripples. Oh my gosh. I truly didn't realize that I had a ripple in this picture. So all of 
your ripples from your other selves, which are on different paths at this moment. Living, this is how we have to say it. It's a parable probably, but this is how we can conceive of it, okay? They're on different paths, living a different life. And when these paths cross, what happens, you guys, these concentric circles, these ripples from their brain waves are crossing paths. Can you picture it? Okay. And when they, when the waves, the ripples cross paths in the vertice is a point of light. It's a concentration of energy. It's a pillar is what the spirit said to me. It's one of your posts. It's a pole. It's a rod. It's a pole. I am talking magnetic pole. North, south, positive, negative. Okay. When time happens, okay, you have all of these pins in the tapestry, all these pins in the tapestry. And time is more like weaving and wrapping and back and forth and up here and over here. It was all of this thread being weaved around all these multiple pins everywhere. Okay? Now, because you're a magnetic pole and so are they, when they pick up something negative in their path, they send a signal and you are able to repel. You, you don't want that negativity. You are repelled because you're a magnet too. Your iron rod is a magnet. Okay? When they find something positive, this is where you go next, over here. You pick up their signal over here and you start to integrate the experience over here. There's another way to look at this if that's confusing, okay? As they are walking on their path, they are picking up footprints, right? Everybody's dropping heels. You guys, it's footprints in the sand. It's impressions. It's impressions. It's coins. Remember why? Because it's a stamp. It's our seal. It's our seal. And when you stamp, what are you making when you die cast, when you stamp metal? A coin. You're making a coin. Okay? These impressions, our stamp and our seal that we talked about in the last video, they are picking up the coin and literally, I saw them tossing it. All these pebbles are being tossed into your path. From your other selves. Okay, so it's not a future self who is watching over you and trying to guide you on your destiny or fate. It is somebody who's on the same plane. Same plane as you. Picking up nuggets. Just bits and pieces of wisdom of whatever it is and flinging right? This is how we saw the lightning bolts jump across the quantum leap. The pebble is flung into your, I'm going to call it dimension, you guys, but I, I used to think of dimension like this, fourth, fifth, sixth dimension. No, no. It's a fractal. Thank you, spirit. I am seeing a star and okay. A star. I just, it was like this. I just turned it like this. They're all, okay. What they're doing is they're all shooting, shooting stars back to the central hub. All these wandering stars, which in Greek means planets, they're, they're your stars, the wanderers in the 
desert. They're flinging back to the central hub. It's you having this experience because you are the sun and you've got all the wandering planets. So I literally, and and this is probably crazy and maybe it was just symbolic what Galactic Mother was showing me, but I literally saw that our solar system does not work in concentric circles. I saw that the planets are, now whether it be planets or asteroids, which means stars or comets or whatever, they are, this is what they're doing, rushing to and fro. All of our teachings last year, what do we do on the bridge? What does everybody do in the firmament? They rush to and fro. It is not this ordered organization that we conceive of. That's not it. Do you remember the bridge rushing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, 3D, 5D, 3D, 5D. It's more, it's more chaotic than we think. And all it, because they converge All of these energies, they, they radiate out like ripples. By the way, I was given the word ripple. Go look it up. The second definition under the word ripple is teeth. Teeth. Look. A toothed or comb-like device for removing seeds of capsules from flax. We just had flax because that's where Joshua was hid in Rahab on her rooftop in the flax. I don't know how the spirit does it, you guys. Okay, listen to me. There's something here about capsule. There's something here about time capsule that I can't grasp yet. Time capsule. It's, it's a time warp. Okay, guys, so I hope you're starting to get an idea of concurrent lives. I, I, all of your stars are real. They're here now. They're your army. They're your host. They are, host means part of the body, right? The Eucharist, okay? They're all one, but they're living different lives. Now, because you, you guys, I see you breaking ground. It's not like you have traveled into your future before because it doesn't exist. Okay? It's not, it's not that way. It's not like we had once talked about how we had a dress rehearsal. You guys, the dress rehearsal was in darkness. It was in utter darkness. Okay. Then it, it's like Genesis 1. Genesis 1, 2 says, that the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep. Genesis 1, 3 says, and then God said, let there be light. So it's, it's almost like we started, even our origin started, darkness was first. Yeah, hard, 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 hard. But listen, so then we had the idea that we had a dress rehearsal and we decided, we played out all of our roles in life and we decided what we wanted to be as spirits in the flesh was goodness. That was, that was the best thing to be. Goodness meaning God. And so when we got to the end of the dress rehearsal, we, we thought, oh, God is what we want to be. Let's go back and place God at the beginning so that he can be our foundation and we'll never lose sight of that. That will always be in us somewhere. It's different than that. It's not like we've experienced all of this and we're going back and it's, it's that God, it, the spirit is saying right now, God exists as a possibility right now.
okay? So you guys know that when the waves of the ripples collapse, they collapse into a particle. Okay, that particle is the pebble that I'm seeing that's being brought to you at the speed of light now. So what I saw was a ping pong table and we are the ball and it hits all of the rods, ding, 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 and it's going everywhere. Okay, that's more like time. <laughs> and some of the rods that you're hitting Re, you're going to repel, repel you. And then some you're attracted to. And so you start heading this way on your path. Okay. This is how your fate is determined. And if fate is not determined already, because God knows what your guardian angel Michael over there, way, way over there is going to find and shoot to you and place in your path. God knows. It's happening, happening concurrently with you right now at this moment. You don't know what coin you're going to get, what talent you're going to get. Talent, coin is a talent. Okay? And that might take your path in a different direction. So the spirit was saying that these crossings of the ripples are encounters, that word again, count, counters, encounters. Okay. Encounters, guys, it usually has it some kind of tinge of luck, lot, um, destiny, fate, a chance, 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 which is the lottery is by chance. That's why it's called lottery. Okay. Um, a chance encounter, all of these things, all of these vertices and with all of these ripples, now you have tons of armies out there making these impressions. I feel like they're fossils and they're leaving a trail for you. Not to follow, but to, to fling over into your path. Okay? I also had the idea that this, because this is an impression, your footprint leaves an impression, a stamp on your soul. And then Galactic Mother said, also on Mother Earth. And I feel like the impression is an imprint. Print. And so there's some print. There's something here to do with Photos, photo, light, photo means light, I, but I'm talking about pictures, photographs, which is funny because that's how I get my messages sometimes, many times. That's how I get my messages, this picture in my mind. Okay. Are they cat? Oh, they're projecting it to me. They're projecting to me a picture of what they see on their path. This is clairvoyance, the spirit just said. And holy crap, this is one of our superpowers that's coming with Superman. Believe it. Believe it. All you have to do is believe it, you guys. That's, I was trained a long, long time ago to believe. That's it. That's it. And then you watch. You watch what happens. Okay, so let's talk about... Um, the photographs, okay? Because when you put many photographs together, you put them on a, okay, projector. The, the movie Real, the spool, it's called the spool. This is weaving your story. The spool it has all the thread on it. Okay, it's weaving your story. It's weaving time. It's weaving time. It's weaving time. And believe me, it is a mosaic of color and just 
everything you can think of, smells and flavors and all kinds of things, okay? Okay, so what, what I saw is that with you being the central hub, you're the sun and they were satellites. Satellites is what I saw, satellites, okay? So sure, they're pinging. That I've had this word ping before too. Um, they're pinging things out to you your satellites, which are your other selves out there, okay? Ping. Yeah. Oh, maybe it's like a GPS. It's definitely like a computer because to calculate, tally, calculate it was to compute. Um... Where's the rut? Imit oh, it, it just, okay, of the sound it makes. So they made the word after the sound, okay. Okay, um, I think that's going to do it. Um, what I see then, guys, is before the tail the sprout, the cutting, the scion wouldn't take root. And so you kept repeating the same cycles over and over and over again, because you weren't able to remember the, the path that you had already taken. And so you kept going, oh. <laughs> this is the second time I've seen the movie Nemo. So I'm going to say it. When Marlin and Dory arrive in the harbor of Sydney, Australia, they keep going around in circles because they can't remember that they've already been there and done that. Okay? Now, with our remembrance, putting our member back on, the heel is coming back on. Remember? <laughs> The member is coming back on to Adam. The rib that he lost is coming back to him. He's no longer limp or lame. His heel is coming back on. Why? Because he's healed. He's healed. And guys, I'm telling you, Ouroboros, okay, he represented time, which is Kronos, which is Saturn, which is sometimes... Satan. You couldn't escape Father Time, right? You always had to live, grow, mature, age, decline, and die. No, that's a cycle, okay? And then when you die, there's immediate rebirth. We've all been through that in the biblical journey, okay? It's not like that. It's not like that. We've defeated Kronos, No more cycles. No more karmic cycles. So I am seeing Saturn right now is squaring the nodes, the, the poles of the moon. Saturn is squaring the poles of the moon. These are the words under the heel bone, which is calcaneus, calcaneus. It's the, perturb, the part of the heel that sticks out, the bone that sticks out at the back of the heel, a knot-like mass of tissue. Hmm. A joint in a stem. Okay. Okay. A connection point. There we go. Connection point in a network. But all this, you guys, is reminding me of the scorpion tail. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. 
One more thing. One more thing and I'll let you go. I, I was seeing this picture. Okay. And let me show it to you right here. Okay. So this wave, you guys, correct me if I'm wrong. It's a circle. When you put it into a two dimensional, it, it's a wave. Okay. You've got a star piercing because that's what a star does, by the way. <laughs> or let's think of it as the scorpion tail because because that's what star means in Hebrew, to be pierced by a scorpion tail. You can look it up, star in Hebrew, okay? Um, so this line going through it here is a pier piercing of an arrow through this circle of time, breaking it open, okay? When, what, what does the scorpion sting do? It cauterizes before it injects the poison. It cauterizes. So you know that when you cauterize your blood vessel, it will no longer bleed, right? So this piercing is cauterizing this pattern. And guess what it leaves out? All of the troughs. This is going to weave. When you thread a needle, you're going to pull that this wave tight and you no longer have to, it's cauterizing the deep parts, the dark parts, the bad parts, the sad parts. It's cauterizing, cutting all of those parts of your cycle out. It's cutting out the bottom of the ups and downs of your story. No more ups and downs, no more cycles like that. No more cycling like that. Okay? You are left with the crest. You are left with the crest part. Sealing off. Sealing off. That's another thing that our seal does. It seals off the bottom of the the cycle. And you are left with the crest. Crest is Christa in Latin, which again is Christ. Okay. Okay, so that's more, you're, you're attracted to the positivity here, you guys. And that's how you travel. That's how you travel. You are repelling the negative pole, and you're attracted to the positive pole now. That's how I see you traveling through time now. And not only that, your, all the seeds that were dropped from your heel are blossoming. So now you only have, where before you only had thorns and thistles, the seeds would not sprout. Now you only have blossoms. That's how it looks now. Blossoms everywhere. That's what they're throwing over at you. Blossoms. Okay. Okay, that's it. Um, we'll see what comes out at the middle of the, of the week, this week. I'm not sure what's coming next. We'll see. An angel's going to shoot me something, and I'll, I'll read it soon enough. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.